Welcome back to Superyacht International. In this video I will be discussing how to calculate estimated position with leeway. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What is estimated position? An estimated position is the process of calculating the current position of a moving object by using a previously determined position, or fix, and incorporating estimates of speed, heading, and elapsed time. This is similar to dead reckoning, however estimated position includes tide. Note, this method provides a very rough estimated position and should not be relied upon for safe navigation. What is leeway? How much a vessel is pushed downwind of its intended course when navigating in the presence of wind? Why is it important? Failure to allow for leeway can cause a dangerous course to be steered. The effect and how to correct it. Leeway pushes the vessel downwind causing the course, ground track, to alter from the original angle. By altering the heading, water track, we can adjust for leeway and maintain the course we require. Here is a worked example of the effect of leeway and the action required to overcome it. There are several factors that can impact the effect of leeway, wind angle, wind force, boat design, sea state, boat speed, helming ability. With only 5 degrees leeway, over a long distance it will seriously alter the final position and could potentially create a dangerous route. The longer the passage without correction, the more chance of running into danger. Step 1. Plot your starting position. This is shown as a circle with a cross through it. Note the time the position was taken. Step 2. Plot the water track. Gather the boat information. In this case, speed is 5 knots, direction of travel was 300 degrees true, and it was a 1 hour trip. We also have 5 degrees of leeway from north. Note, no conversion is needed when degrees are in true. If the degrees are in compass or magnetic, a conversion is required. See our other video on compass correction for help with this. Also note, this was a one hour trip so speed equals distance, meaning the boat traveled five nautical miles in this time. If the time was less or more than one hour, the distance would need adjusting. See later in the video for the calculation. Step 2a. Using your plotter, draw the direction traveled on the chart. In this example, it is now 295 degrees true with leeway added. Step 2b. Using your dividers and the latitude scale, measure 5 miles. It is important to use the latitude scale and not the longitude. Step 2c. Bring these two pieces of data together and plot the water track for the hour. Label the track with a single arrow to represent the water track. Step 3. Identify the tidal stream. This is found in the almanac or a tidal diamond. Tidal diamond B is used as this is closest. We are at high water and from the tidal data, we can see the set is 60 degrees and the drift is 1.5 miles. Step 3a. Add the tidal stream. Draw the tidal stream on the chart using the data from the previous step. Use the plotter and divider to measure this out. Label this tidal stream with three arrows. Step 4. Plot the estimated position. The final position after the water track and tide have been calculated is your estimated position. Label this with a triangle and note the time. Step 5. Finish off the process by adding the ground track. The ground track is the actual course traveled through the water and shows the importance of planning your route to avoid dangers. Calculating speed, distance and time are used significantly at sea for planning and plotting positions. There is a simple formula used to calculate speed, distance and time. The equation can be changed to make each letter the subject. The key and units are shown below. Common exam questions will include speed, distance and time calculations so ensure you are confident using this equation. Another useful calculation is converting minutes to hours and back. 
the equation and key are shown below. There are some worked examples to assist your learning. Some problems will require less or more than one hour of time. In these situations, the distance traveled and tidal calculations will be impacted. For example, one hour of tide could be 1.2 knots and therefore 30 minutes would only be 0.6 knots. Similarly, one hour of traveling could cover 5 nautical miles, and therefore 30 minutes of traveling would only be 2.5 nautical miles. Note, only the rate will change and not the set for less than one hour. Some problems will require less or more than one hour of tide. In these situations, the tidal calculations will be impacted. For example, 1.5 hours of traveling would need the tide for the first hour and the tide for half of the second hour, which will be different. See a worked example here. Travel time is 1.5 hours so we need the first full hour and only half of the second. 1.2 knots is hour 1, and now only 0.4 knots is hour 2. As you will see from the diagram, both tides must be plotted. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the other videos on our channel. Check the description for links.